Grand Rising. Grand Rising. We are going to get our breath work in today. For those of you who stay. And then we are going for our seven miles. After that. Because it's going to be another hot day today. And we want to get it in before it gets too hot. And tomorrow we're gonna have some storms, so we gotta get the walking in today. Okay, I hope you guys are well. I hope that you woke up feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. The frequency that you are listening to as we watch the sun come up and do our breath work and meditation. is, I believe this is the 432 frequency, okay, these, this frequency is to help heal damage in the body, the muscles, the joints, the aches, the pains, the trauma that you think is just pain. Knee pain is trauma. And this frequency uh, helps you to heal anything going on within your body, okay? So as we take the time to listen to the frequency, I want you to get into a position where you are comfortable. You could be laying, you could be standing, be sitting, okay? But I want you to get into a position where you are comfortable and can receive the energy from what this breath work and meditation will do for you. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. Okay. So I told you guys that I would be starting to do two times a week breath work and meditation with you guys for a little bit before I go for my walk. And so we begin. We are breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. We're breathing in for, for four and releasing for six. Okay. When you are completing this breath work, I ask that you keep your palms up and open to receive what spirit has for you. So breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Remember we are breathing from our diaphragm and not from our chest. Breathe in through your nose. and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Continue this practice silently. 
telling yourself to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you continue to do this, I will begin our morning mantra. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Today is a beautiful day of opportunity. I am exactly where I need to be. I open myself to the universe and trust in the unfolding of my life. Today is a beautiful day of opportunity. I am exactly where I need to be. I open myself to the universe and trust in the unfolding of my life. Today is a beautiful day of opportunity. I am exactly where I need to be. I open myself to the universe and trust in the unfolding of my life. Please repeat it. If you don't know it, repeat the words after me. If you know it, say it with me. Today is a beautiful day of opportunity. I am exactly where I need to be. I open myself to the universe and trust in the unfolding of my life. Today is a beautiful day of opportunity. I am exactly where I need to be. I open myself to the universe, spirit, God, source, Allah, whatever you call, and trust in the unfolding of my life. As you continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, I want you to imagine that you are sitting in front of a body of water.
Doesn't matter if it's an ocean. It doesn't matter if it's a river or a stream, a pond or a lake. Whatever it is, imagine that you're sitting on the banks looking at this water. And you notice in front of you that there is a boat. There's no one in the boat, it's just a small boat. And every time you start to think of something besides your breath, of something besides the meditation that you're bringing in, put those cares and those worries inside that boat. It's just a small boat but it'll be there every time that you need it. And as you put your worries and your cares and your schedule and your calendar, the appointments that you have to worry about into that boat whenever they come up during this breath work, when you are enduring breath work and meditation, in the beginning, sometimes you may find it hard to focus on your breath. And so I ask you to see that boat in front of you so that you can put all of those cares and worries in that boat and send it down the water. Again, whenever you need it, it'll be there. So breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Continue this practice silently together. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth.
we will continue this for another four breaths. Breathe in through your nose. in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out your mouth. Now let's give a moment of silence for meditation, for clearing out any residual thoughts. Allow yourself to slowly come back to the room. Feel the air on your skin. Wiggle your toes a little. And your fingers. Roll your shoulders, if you can, backwards. You can move your head from side to side a little. And open your eyes slowly. Come back to the room. Slowly coming back to the room. I hope that you all enjoyed this breath work. hope that it helped you center yourself before work, during work, after work, whatever time of day it is for you. And for those of you who are okay with a few words to spirit from me, I'm going to start that. As we begin our day, our evening, our afternoon, Spirit, we ask that you come into this circle now, although we know you've been here. And we ask that you touch those who are looking for a touch from you today. We thank you for last night's rest. We're grateful to be here, to open our eyes, and to be able to come together in this community here, to focus on you and ourselves at this time. We thank you for the clothes on our backs, the shoes on our feet, the food that we eat, the water that we drink. 
I'm not just talking about the physical food or the physical water, but your words, your word, your enlightenment. We thank you for that, Spirit. We ask that you touch our family members, our loved ones, near and far, who are on their way to begin their day who are in their day, who are ending their day. Touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet and bless them with what they need, the healing that they need, that they desire. Be it physical healing from an ailment emotional healing, psychological healing. We ask that you touch the mental state of the world today, spirit. We ask that you heal those minds that are so far lost, we ask that you bring them into this circle, help them to raise their vibration, help them to understand that the works that they have are from you, the creativity, the plans that you have, the ideas that you give them, help them to see where it comes from so that they may use it for the greater good. We ask that you touch the hearts, the souls, and the minds of those who are yet asleep. and bring them out of that deep sleep. We're asking for healing today, Spirit, for love, for compassion for all, for you to touch them and show them that you love them and care for them too. As we leave this circle, we ask that you protect our loved ones as they go along their way. We ask that you love and protect them, protect us. Give us the bread of life, the healing water, that we so desperately need. We thank you for your presence in our life and we ask that you continue to lead and guide us, not stay far from us. We thank you on this day. Namaste. So the sun is starting to peek out here. The day is dawning and I'm ready for my walk. I hope that you guys enjoyed this breath work, this 
offer to spirit. I hope that it helped you clear your mind so that you can begin your day in the present moment, focusing on yourself and spirit. For those of you that don't do this on a regular basis, you should really try to get into a routine of it a few times a day. It will give you the peace and the calm that you long for. It will give you the relationship with spirit, with the universe, with God, with Allah, with whatever you call it, okay, that you are looking for. We all can have a very strong connection to spirit. We just choose to have to do it, you know. You may feel that I don't have the time, but you really don't have the time to not have the time to connect with spirit. You don't have the time to say that. Amen. Grand Rising. For you would not be, you would not breathe, you would not exist if it was not for the Spirit. So, giving back time, giving back your energy to Spirit, laying those cares, those worries, those burdens, those trials, those storms, those tribulations at spirit's feet and starting anew is the most amazing thing you can do for yourself. Allow yourself to stay in the present moment so that you can enjoy life. I'm not saying don't take care of your responsibilities. I'm not saying that. I'm saying stay present. When we start worrying and stressing, it's because we're not present. We're thinking about the past. We're thinking about the future. And this time that you set aside to connect with your inner self, your higher self and spirit is all for you and spirit. Give yourself that time, you deserve that. I don't care if you do it with prayer and meditation, breath work, a, a combination, but get into it. Your life will change and so will your mindset. Grand Rising. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. Every time we get on, we will be going longer until I reach a total of 20 minutes with you guys with the breath work. And I don't know why, but I'm hearing seagulls out the window. For, for Baltimore City to be a major city, it has seagulls everywhere. And we're not near the sea. Okay. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be trying to get this every other day, well, two times with you guys. I'm I'm doing it anyway. Okay, I, I do it every day. Um, spend time alone to meditate, to clear yourself and invite spirit in to your life, every moment of it. It will change you. It will change you and it will change your life for the better, okay? 
Who's going on seven miles with me? Erica the Aries is in here this morning. Good morning. I woke up just on time. Hey, C baby. Jeffrey, welcome, welcome. You're very welcome, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the breath work. Um, good morning, good morning. No one said they was going on the seven miles with me. Does that mean y'all not going with me? <laughs> y'all going walking this morning. We're rising. All right now, see, baby. Okay. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. All right. Well, I'm going to get myself uh, dressed and uh, stretch a little bit, and I'll see y'all outside. Okay. Can't sleep. Where you are? Where you at, humble bee? Still trying to sleep. <laughs> Minnesota. Um. Okay. Ain't it cold out there? Do it get cold in Minnesota? I ain't never thought about going to Minnesota. What's Minnesota like? What's there that I can get into? Hmm? I already got my stuff out. I just got to throw it on. I already pressed my teeth and washed my face and all that good, wonderful stuff. I need to drink my bottle of water and uh, get dressed. I'm trying to get out of bed. Hey, Debbie. Sometimes it's hard. 539 there is 640 here, so we only an hour difference, humble bee. I'm usually uh I'm usually up by 5, 530. Um because my body gets me up. I don't have to set an alarm. <laughs> my body is like, hey, you done slept enough now. It's time for you to get up. It's like every morning. Even when I'm going through this awakening and I'm waking up a few hours of the night, you know, with the two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 my body still gets me up at like 5.30, 5.15 sometimes. And I lay and I thank Spirit for allowing me to open my motherfucking eyes. And I enjoy the quiet that I hear. And then I start my routine. Hey, Arkansas. It gets cold here. Mm, yeah, I can't dig the cold. I'm not a, uh, I'm telling you, I was telling somebody, as soon as my feet get cold, don't talk to me, don't look at me, and don't touch me. Because I can't. I turn into a whole nother person when my feet get cold. Okay. Okay. I can't. <laughs> and uh, I don't even like... Baltimore is cold and it gets cold here, but it don't get like 
minus anything unless, you know, it's bad. Okay. And I'm from Pennsylvania. So I know cold and I know snow. I just don't like it. I, I was born in Reading, Pennsylvania. I just don't like it. And I was born in March, too. And it snows every March up there in Pennsylvania, like a lot. And I never liked it. When I was a kid, though, we used to have beautiful days on my birthday. But as I got older, oh, my God. Okay. I can't do the coat. You wouldn't want to live here below zero here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, no, nah, I can't do that. Yep, no. Nope. Y'all gonna be like, who is that? <laughs> who, who is this creature that has come out of Stacy? <laughs> you, you will not like me when I'm cold. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Once it starts to get, being getting about 55, 50, I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> I can't, I cannot with the cold, all right, you guys, I'm going to get myself together and get on this uh, pavement out here and see if I can find a few trees to hug and uh, make people look at me weird. Because that's what they do. <laughs> Maybe I'll even take a, a pack of cards with me. And uh, find a space to sit and do a reading while I'm out. Where's my phone on the charge? Oh, yeah, we got, we got a charge. Maybe. But you know it gets busy. Especially in the, the spaces that I walk. So you might not be able to hear me. I don't know. We'll see what I can do. I ain't no promises. Yes, I love being outside. Yesterday was about 55 outside. I can take 55. But it better not go too much lower than that. Okay. I just, I, I, I don't know. It's crazy because like I said, I was born in March and it's usually still cold in March. But I just, I can't, I need to be somewhere and this is my goal is to be somewhere where I can grow my food and shit all year round. Because that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. I don't want to keep on going to the grocery stores and because I don't know what the fuck, okay? That stuff is. Um, it's fucking with my stomach. Everything I eat, even when I go to the grocery store and I make it here, and I know it's part of my awakening, but it's just like lettuce and tomato and stuff like that should not be having making me get problems with my stomach. Okay, I don't, I just need to be able to grow my own food. <laughs> Period. That's it. Okay. Uh, that's my goal is to have myself a nice little garden. Well, so I'm not going to be little. Um. Because I like to do canning, and I and I like to save foods. Um, I do seed seedings. You know, I keep the seeds. Um, I actually just pulled some seeds off of one of the plants that I have planted out front because I'm gonna be giving that to my neighbors when I leave, and I want my own seeds. So I took the seeds out of those plants so that I can plant my own seeds. I use the seeds from the food that I grow and I just reuse them every year. Um, sometimes I do go to the store and buy some seeds from certain uh, people that do the seeds. Um, and uh, that's just how I like to do it. <laughs> well, my goal, uh, see, is to definitely um, open up something that people have never experienced before. Let me just say that. And it is going to have a shop to it. 
but in no means is it going to be small. Uh, the plans are being laid. And no one can stop it. And it's amazing. And uh, I'm excited. So, with that being said, let me get my ass off of here. Stop chit-chatting. And uh, get my clothes on. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright? Love y'all. Bye.